Yeah, Rob Wilkinson, coach. Uh, number 14, James Helen's defence. Hi, I'm Alan Flavel, the general manager of Billingham Stars. Number 5, James Moss. Hi, I'm Jack Emerson. Hi, I'm Jacob Hammond, number 2. I'm Shuggy, I'm number 19. Hi, I'm Michael Elder, 32, captain of the Billingham Stars. I'm Seam Foster, head coach of the Stars. Hi, I'm Stuart Jackson, number 38. Hey, I'm Andy Munro, defence, and the old guy on the team. Uh, my name's Tom Brown, I'm goalie for the Billingham Stars. Um, yeah. <laughs> Roland's Greetings, number 26. Hi, I'm Sadie, I'm the sports therapist for the Billingham Stars. Uh, Lewis Hall, number 77. Uh, hi, I'm Tom Wakefield, number 35. Hi, uh, I'm Callum Wilkinson, number 70. Uh, I'm Carol White, I am part of the Stars media team, I am usually seen at away rinks. Hi, I'm Joe Dowdle. Hi, I'm Ethan McLaughlin. Hi, I'm Lucas Dowdle, number 88. My name's Josh Hall and I'm the equipment manager for the Billingham Stars this season. Uh, Chris Sykes, 15 forward. Hi, I'm Joe Walls. I'm going to do two. I'm going to say beating Whitley for the first time in a long time. And I'm also going to say uh, the cup final weekend as a whole because I just thought that was brilliant. Uh, this season for me would personally be the spinner armour against Whitley. Uh, making the playoffs again this year. Uh, going for something that we wanted last year. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a big one that we want this year. Um, I guess uh, finishing second in the league is probably our best finish for quite some years and uh, yeah, been a very good competitive season, been fantastic. I think the uh, favourite moment of the season is probably coming back against Solway on the Friday night after being down and out, so yeah. Um, I think my highlights probably is getting back on the ice in January from a long time off from, uh, from the injury that I sustained a couple of seasons ago. But Glad to be back. Uh, probably bringing it back when we played uh, Solway to make it 5-5. It's a really good moment. Uh, the, the best bit of the season so far has been uh, the Solway game. I thought the guys did so well across the 120 minutes and unlucky to come up short at the end. Cup final, obviously. Um, beating Whitley, obviously. Um, it's been my favourite season for quite some time, so it's quite hard to pick highlights, really. Passing the puck to Finn to score the overtime winner against Eastside. Highlight, I would probably say, is winning an overtime against Solway. Highlight of the season, I think, it's the progression that the boys have made and, and, and managing to, uh, to get second place. The season's been great so far. I think it's a, it's a great finale. Two years in a row making the finals. You can't, you can't look too far past uh, the, the first leg of the cup final at Solway. I think... Um, as far as the season goes, that was probably the best game of hockey we've played, albeit we were 5-1 down, but uh, the way that the guys battled back, uh, I think that was, that's got to be up there with uh, one of the highlights of the season. Every moment this year, um, I would have to say probably the cup semi-final against Whitley. Um, the atmosphere was incredible and um, it was a good hard battle between two good teams and um, I think I just really enjoyed it, so that's got to be my favourite moment. I Highlight of the season's got to be... Uh, Got to be my first goal of the season. First goal uh, in any league, so it's pretty special. Um, best moment of the year was probably his cup semi-final. That comeback away was massive. Highlight uh, of the season, uh, three seconds left of the game, and then I get typed goal. So winning overtime against the Side Dragons. Uh, uh, just beating Whitley Bay in the uh, semi-finals and getting to the finals. Um, well, we've had a really good finish this season and uh, everyone's worked really hard so it's been a really good season overall and everyone's happy with it so when we beat Whitley away to get to the cup final um probably getting to the playoff final uh, the cup finals with Solway uh beating Solway and being the overtime scorer that's a great feeling can't get better than that my best moment of the season was beating Whitley in the semi-finals for the cup um favorite favorite Part of the season was was the whole game. It was Solway. It was Solway away on the Friday night there because I never, I never believed that we could be that good this quickly.
just everyone really from from the fans to the volunteers that work tirelessly behind the scenes off the ice to um, the the players on the ice to to our sponsors that allow us to to play the game that we love and, and put 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 harder money into the club that's uh, obviously uh, doesn't go unrecognised and uh, also to thank the media team I know yourself Craig do a lot of stuff behind the scenes and Carol so thank you to you guys for uh, putting the production together and uh, putting Billingo on the map um, and thanks to all the sponsors for the faith in us this season and then I'd just like to thank everybody involved at the club like the the supporters who've been fantastic all the all the helpers, all the officials, everybody just thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. The, the, uh, the fans have been unbelievable this season, like they are every year. Uh, I'd like to thank all the volunteers that helped out. It was, uh, it was just a great contribution. Uh, I would just want to say thank you to the fans for this season, you've been brilliant. Thank you. I'd just like to thank the sponsors. Uh, I'd like to thank all the volunteers, thank you very much. Uh, I just want to thank all the lads uh, for one, going in and out week in, week out with these lot. Is uh, really nice, you know, spending time with them. Uh, thank you to all the fans. They've been amazing this year. Seeing the crowd grow has been really, really good. Uh, sponsors that sponsors every year, week in, week out again. And everyone that's involved with the club, thank you very much. I'd like to thank, thank the sponsors for everything they've put into us and believing in us. Uh, just everyone who's been in and around the team, especially Alan, Mikey, just for giving this opportunity for us to do my job down here. I'd like to thank everyone, everyone from behind the scenes who works tirelessly to get, a, get everything together, the fans and the, the sponsors as well. I want to say thank you team, uh, it's, uh, general manager, uh, all fans, thanks for coming and, and, and for support. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to thank all the sponsors this year, they've done great helping support Billingham and progressing the club. I'd like to thank everybody that's made this happen, from, from Al and, and the back, back staff, Sadie looking after the boys all year long, the fans coming through the door, the support they've been given is brilliant, and the coverage that we've got from yourselves has been fantastic as well. Thanks to all the volunteers that helped out with Billion Stars this year. Uh, all the volunteers and the staff. Uh, I'd just like to thank everyone, everyone who turns up every week to help out the Stars, all the players, fans, supporters and volunteers. We've had such a great uh, great season, thanks to the guys for introducing me back and um, being really welcoming and obviously to the fans for all of their great turnout across the season. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who helps out behind the scenes who doesn't usually get a mention. I'd like to thank the fans and I'd like to thank the players who put on a really good show for us this season. I'd like to thank all the volunteers. <laughs> Nicky Wardell who's going to hand off over there. Um, you Craig for everything that you do. Um, and obviously Alan and everybody associated with the team, Foz, Rob and all the lads. I just want to say thank you to everyone, fans, supporters, sub sponsors, uh, for being there for us for the season. The, we appreciate everything and it's helped us so much. Well, pretty much everybody that comes through the turnstile, everybody that comes to watch the games, the players, the, you know, the fans, the, uh, the coaching staff, uh, anybody that's involved with the game from the time bench to uh, uh, the physio, you know, everybody. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. I think the favourite part of the season was probably seeing Alex Preston and his dad skiing down the slopes of Italy in two Billingham star shirts. I don't really know what was going on there, but uh, yeah, he's taking some stick for it.